are in the middle of the first burst of an eruption of Grand Geyser. It started about two or three minutes ago, and it was really quite an impressive and spectacular start, especially with the late evening lighting. Or not all that late, it's now a little before 8 o'clock. However, this being near the longest day of the year, the sun is still quite a ways above the horizon. There isn't a single cloud in the sky behind the backdrop of Grand. Oh. And there's a rainbow which is coming down right in the center of Grand's main column and extending up into the steam cloud. Vent also started a little while <laughs> and is now declining a little bit and turning a bit to steam, but is still rather impressive as a companion to the eruption of Grand Geyser. Off on the side, you can see that Rift is erupting and has in fact been erupting for the last hour. And in some ways, it's really the more heralded event of the evening in that it had a half hour of precursor West Triplet before it made its appearance. We have just witnessed the end of the first burst of Grand Geyser. It was a rather short one, I haven't been taking an exact duration, but I believe it may well have been under eight minutes. We're all hoping the second burst will be even larger than the first was, but it is also true that regardless of what size it is, it will be one of the most spectacular eruptions of Grand this summer. You can see the blue sky behind it, and when the white of the water, back lit by the sun, comes across it, it will be a sight that few will ever forget. And Grant is now taking off, and here comes the second burst! <laughs> wow! Oh my god! <laughs> I would say that the second burst was, in fact, the large second burst that we were all hoping for. <laughs> and, of course, it's now settled back down to business, having declined from that must have been 160 feet of geyser. And the rainbow is still there from the center of the column into the steam cloud. <laughs> Truly an awesome spectacle. The grave and the second burst is over. I have bad news. This is astounding. We're likely to get a third and perhaps even a fourth, <laughs> dare we dream. There's still a little bit of water in the pool, co boiling, covering some of the rocks. It's steam wafting off. Oh, this is looking a little bit less fortunate all of a sudden. No, we haven't had our 
a lot of I'm afraid this is somewhat of a short duration, but nonetheless spectacular eruption of Grand Geyser on this 25th of June, 1995. Stop. Okay, start. It appears that with the end of the eruption of Grand, Rift Geyser has so indeed also finished its eruption and is now gently puffing steam into the evening air. We should go over and get some footage of Rift Crater. <laughs> David Goldberg, how would you describe that eruption of Grand? Well, despite the short duration, it certainly made up for all of that in beauty and power. It was a dramatically white column against an altogether unbelievably blue sky. And the rainbow added an extra element of beauty rarely seen in this day and age. So you'd say it's one of the best you've seen? It certainly was. I could have used a third and fourth burst, but I think all of the rest of the events have made up for it. That's Particularly the eruption of rift. <laughs> which has also ended, sadly. <laughs> its fury finished for now, the steaming crater of rift rests and awaits a new day and a new eruption. Doug, you know, that was the best direct. Don't look. <laughs> Can't do it for laughing. Midnight. Bye. I'm not going to be here for it. <laughs> <laughs>